Hi everyone, welcome to GT Coding. In this video, I'll show you how to design this back to top button which appears when we scroll down and um, then if you click on the button, it takes us to the top of our website. So let's get started. So first of all, let's uh, go to fontawesome.com and we'll be using this icon from Font Awesome. So in the Font Awesome website, just click on start for free and just type in your email ID and click on send my kit code and you'll get this code over here. So just copy this from here. And here in my project, I have three files, an HTML file, a JavaScript file and a CSS file. So first of all, let's start with the markup. In VS Code, just type exclamation mark and uh, press tab and you'll get this HTML5 boilerplate and we'll just change the title to back to top and we'll also paste in our font or some kit code and then we'll add our JavaScript file over here so we'll type script src and we'll type main.js alright now let's open this with live server now let's create four sections and give it classes of section 1, section 2, section 3 and section 4 and we'll type section 1, 2, 3 and 4 inside them. We'll use emit for that. So we'll type section and we want 4 sections so we'll type star 4 and for the class we want section 1, 2, 3 and 4 so we'll type a dollar sign over here and in curly braces we'll type section and space dollar and then press tab and we have these sections. If you want to learn more about how I wrote this short code, you can watch my emit video. Alright, now we'll create the back to top button. So we'll type anchor tag with a class of to top. And here we will add the font awesome icon. So we'll type I. And for the classes, we will have FAS and FA chevron up. So there we have our icon right there. Alright, so now let's go to our style.css file and we'll give some style to this page. So for the universal styles, we will type margin 0, padding 0. And for the sections, we will type height of 75 viewport height. That is a 75% height of this window right here. And uh, we'll set the display to flex. Align items to the center. Justify content to the center. And uh, font family of railway sans serif if you don't have this font you can install it and font size of 32 pixels text transform to uppercase and letter spacing of 8 pixels now we'll give different background colors to different sections so we'll type section 1 and for section 1 we'll give a background color of f0932b and we'll just copy this alright for section 2 we'll give a color of EB4D4B and for section 3 we'll give a color of 7ED6DF and for the last section we'll give a background color of 22A6B3 alright now we'll style the to top button so we'll type to top and uh, we'll give a background color of white position of fixed and bottom of 16 pixels right of 32 pixels width of 50 pixels height of 50 pixels and border radius of 50% and display to flex Align items to center, justify content to the center, font size of 32 pixels, color of 1F, 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 text decoration to none, and here we will set the opacity to 0, and then when we scroll down, we will set the opacity to 1, and we'll also set the pointer events to none so that we cannot click on it, and we'll set a transition of all to 0.4 seconds so that we get a smooth transition between the active and the non-active state so we'll create an active class as well so we'll type to top 
dot active and don't have a space in between here because we want to have both these classes and when we have both these classes we will apply these tiles over here so we'll set the bottom to 32 pixels pointer events to auto and opacity to 1 so that's it for our uh, styling now let's go to our main.js file here first of all we will access the two top button so we'll type const to top equals document dot query selector and we'll type dot to top and we'll add an event listener to the window object so we'll type window dot add event listener and uh, we'll add the event listener for scroll so we'll type scroll over here and we'll create an arrow function and uh, here we will type if window dot page y offset is greater than 100 now what this means is that if the page has been scrolled 100 pixels from the top then we should uh, write some code over here so we'll type to top dot class list dot add and we will add the active class alright if that is not the case then uh, we'll remove the class to top dot class list dot remove active all right so now let's check it out so if you scroll down we can see we get our back to top button and when we click on the button it takes us to the top of the website but we don't have a smooth scrolling so let's go to our style.css and uh, for the html we will give a property of scroll behavior and we'll set it to smooth all right now if we go down we can see the button and if we click on the button it smoothly takes us to the top of our website so that's basically it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and uh, subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day